at the Parm Room. Today I'm going to show you a popular South Indian dessert, Rava Kesari, with a twist of fresh pineapples. So let's get started. So I have the pan here, it's heating up. To this, I'm going to dry roast suji or rava. A cup. You're going to slightly roast them, it doesn't have to darken. Probably a minute or two. It's cranking up the heat, so we're done. Okay. Keep stirring it. Okay, it's just about done. Off the heat source. Okay. To this, I'm going to add a teaspoon of ghee or melted butter and quickly dry roast the cashews. Okay, I'm just adding a teaspoon of okay. ghee and adding some cashews and some raisins. Quickly roast them. Don't darken it lightly golden brown and make sure the raisins just get plumpy. I'm gonna add two cups of water and bring it to a quick boil. We'll let the water boil. Add the rava and start stirring so it doesn't form the lumps. Okay. Bring down the heat. Okay, I'm also gonna add some pineapple juice to it. Make sure you quickly stir and, and there aren't any lumps. I'm gonna add some ghee to this. Keep stirring. Pretty good. I'm also adding a cup of crushed fresh pineapples. We're adding it at this point so it actually boils with the rubber and cooks well. If you see the rubber has cooked and the quantity has increased so you could definitely say it's cooked very well. So after you give it a quick stir, I'm going to add a cup of sugar because it's going to turn watery again after you add the sugar so keep stirring and lower the flame so it doesn't burn the bottom of the pan. A cup of sugar. You can go low or high depending on how sweet you want. This is where it gets lumpier so make sure you actually give it a quick stir and continue to stir it. You need to add some ghee be a little bit liberal on the ghee on kesari because that brings the flavors together. Okay, I'm going to increase the heat for a while just so I know that I get the consistency I need. Okay, while that happens, I'm going to add all the liquid items. So I have some food color. You don't have to add it, but I'd usually like to do it for pineapple kesari. So you can actually get the food color in the store, add it to some hot water and keep it aside. Just a pinch of food color.
you can find it in an Indian store. You can even find them in Whole Foods these days. They carry a lot of Indian organic food colors. Okay, see if you constantly stir it. It doesn't form the lump. It doesn't sit down at the bottom of the pan. There should be a variation when you do a pineapple casery. The kids feel that this is the, it's fruity. That's why I'm adding the food color. See, it's cooking very well. Again, add some ghee. It takes around four tablespoons of um, ghee to it. I can actually smell the fresh pineapples. Wow, it's amazing. If you have pineapple uh, pulp or something, you could use it too. I usually like to have some chunks of pineapples in it. And I add the juice along with some water. So it actually cooks in the juice and brings in all the flavors, the fruity flavors in the casery. Pineapple is rich in vitamin C. It's a great fruit. And it's found, it's, it's great in abundance during summer. It's, it's awesome to make this dish. And it's offered for Lord Shiva as one of the um, offerings during Maha Shivratri. So this is a fun dish and it's also for our religious purposes. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. Bring down the heat. See, it's the right consistency. I'm adding some cardamom to it cardamom powder, probably a, tea, a teaspoon, okay, give it a quick stir, I'm going to add some more ghee, the freshness, the fruitiness of the pineapples is the add-on to this dish, to this typical rava kesari. It's a sweet and a healthy treat for kids too. Okay, this is perfect. Just working out my arms. Okay, this is ready. Just about ready. A minute or two. Okay, and to this I'm gonna add the, the raisins and the cashews. The taste is just amazing. I have no wo words to describe. I'm just lots of words at this point. And the remaining ghee. I have a total of four tablespoons of ghee in this. Turning off the heat. That's it. Ready to serve. Okay. You see how beautiful it has cooked. It's got that gooeyness. You can even wait and break them into smaller bite-sized diced cake size for kids if you want to keep it funnier. Just trying to find some cashews. Here you go, guys. A fresh, fruity, sweet treat for your eyes and for the kids and even for religious purposes. I'm sure you're gonna try this twist of parambarium of rava kesari with some fresh fruit like pineapple. Please try this at home. As always guys, we are on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys again next time. Until then, bye.